Hey everyone, it's Jake from Westcott, and today we're going to show you how to get started with the Fusion Light Control System by Sal Sankata. Gently lower the four extension arms until seated and the shape resembles an X. Locate the rear hub and align its central hole with the rear post. With the smooth side of the rear hub facing upwards, lower it onto the rear post until it's seated onto the hub. Rotate the rear hub clockwise to secure into place. Do not over tighten. Select two extension arms that are closest to each other, unlock the clasps, and fully extend each arm. After full extension of both arms, lock all clasps into position and place the extended arms onto the ground. Align the rear support leg with two fully extended arms and slide the tilter bracket onto the rear post. Rotate the tension knob clockwise to secure into place. Do not over tighten. While supporting the frame with the extended arms resting on the ground, unlock the rear support clasp. Tighten the side tension knob and lock the clasp to secure into position. Do not over tighten. Attach your fabric panel by hooking the grommets onto the circular hooks at the ends of all four extension arms. For the silver sunlight panel, ensure the window opening is between the top two extension arms. Once all the grommets are attached, unlock the clasps on the upper two extension arms and extend the arms until the fabric panel is top. Close the clasps to lock the extension arms into place. One of the great things about the Fusion is the silver sunlight panel. The shooting window is removable via hook and loop tape. If you remove the shooting window, it allows you to photograph your subject through the panel. If you attach it, it allows you to use the panel as a full length reflector. Included with your Fusion is a dual speed light bracket. The dual speed light bracket will allow you to attach two speed lights onto your Fusion when using the diffusion panel. To attach your speed light, first start by loosening the set screw on the cold shoe. Once loosened, Grab your speed light and feed the hot shoe into the cold shoe, making sure it is lined up and in the center. Once properly aligned, go ahead and tighten down the set screw located on the side of the cold shoe. For additional security, ensure that you lock down the locking mechanism on your speed light. If attaching a second speed light, go ahead and repeat these steps on the other side of the clamp. Let's go ahead and attach this to the fusion. Start by loosening the handle and opening the jaws of the clamp. Once loosened, go ahead and feed the jaws of the clamp onto the rear arm on the Fusion. Once properly aligned, go ahead and tighten down the handle of the clamp to ensure that it's securely mounted onto the Fusion. That's it for the Fusion Light Control System by Sasankata. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.